Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing ratios and percents. This is standard 6.4e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 which is a new item type called hot text off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've simply got some circles on this game board. Shaded and unshaded, we're looking for the fraction and percentage that represents the shaded portion. Now this is hot text. So you have to select two different answers. Now notice that once I put that 6 over 15 in there, these other fractions grayed out. And the reason it's doing that is because you can't use any of those fractions down here because you the bottom one needs a percentage. So watch. If I try to put that 90% right there, look, it's not letting me put a percentage in there. So this is at least smart enough to say you have to put a fraction up there. You have to put a percent down here. So the fractions have to go on the top. The percents have to go on the bottom. If I try to just submit one, it's going to say there is a problem. So we're going to choose one of these fractions, and then we're going to choose one of these percents. So it is helpful there. Two-point problem, one point for each correct answer. So let's figure this out using our graph draw feature. And so we've got our shaded and unshaded. So uh, this looks like a fraction to me. So let's think we're looking for shaded, right? So my numerator is going to be my top number, right? But that's always the number selected. So in this case, it's going to be the shaded, because that's what it's asking for. I'm asking for how many shaded there are. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so 9. And then your denominator is your bottom number. And that one's always easy to figure out, because that's always the total. All right, so I've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So there we go. I've got 9 fifteenths as a fraction. I don't see 9 fifteenths. I see 6 fifteenths, but I can tell you what 6 fifteenths is. Let me just keep that right down there. I can tell you that 6 fifteenths is wrong because you know what that is? This is how many are unshaded. Right? You've got 6 that are unshaded out of 15 total. So if I'm not seeing my 9 fifteenths, my next question needs to be, all right, probably I need to simplify. So thinking of an equivalent fraction, I'm thinking, okay, what is a factor that can be divided into both 9 and 5? I could do 3 into both. Divide by 3 over 3, so that's dividing by 1, which means it's the same fraction. It's just looking different. 3 fifths. Okay, so 9 fifteenths is equal to 3 fifths. That works. So let me put this right here. You notice my percentages now are 90, 40, and 60. All right. So you've got two ways that you can change this into a percent, right? So we can start with our big one right here, 915. You can always change a fraction in a percent by two steps. First, change it into a decimal by dividing up. All right, so 15 goes into 9. Just divide the numerator by the denominator. It goes in 0, which is fine. And then we're going to put the decimal there, put a 0 there, bring it down. So uh, that is going to go in there 6 times. And that's actually going to go in 6 times evenly. All right, so 0 0.6. Now, got 0 0.6 is the decimal. The percent is just moving the decimal twice to the right, so 60. Another way to do it is we've already got the 3 fifths. If I can make an equivalent fraction by changing this into tenths, you might think, why would I want to do that? Well, look at that. 6 tenths equals 6 tenths. Boom. 60%. Either way, the fraction is 3 fifths and the percentage is 60%.